Hey guys, so today I just wanted to, let me move my microphone a little, I just wanted to hang out with you guys and chat with you about some makeup sales that are happening. I do these makeup sale round of videos once a month. I just kind of look through all of the products that are on sale at Sephora and Ulta and narrow it down to the ones that I think you guys might be interested in checking out. Now I did go through Sephora and Ulta and there weren't as many makeup products on sale this time around, so I kind of searched some different websites, found you know some interesting sales, some interesting products that are discounted and I'll be sharing all of them with you guys in today's video. It is cold today. I wanted to film this video in my living room on my couch. I got like a new vlog camera so I could film in different locations but it has been so dark and dreary. My living room it, it just looks like it's like 6 p.m. right now and it's like 60 degrees outside. I don't understand. It is June. I need it to be warm but anyway I thought we could just hang out and chat and hear about some makeup deals. Let me find my list. I put this list together last night at like 1 a.m. So hopefully all of these sales are still going on. There was a really good Macy sale happening that ended like literally last night at midnight. So unfortunately that one is no longer happening. But anyway, let's jump into it. So first of all, there are a few brands that are discounted. Marc Jacobs has been discounted for a little while at this point. I've mentioned them in a couple of other videos. I don't know if Marc Jacobs is leaving Sephora or if they're staying and they're rebranding. I've seen a lot of mixed messages. Like every day on Instagram, I see something new. I haven't tried a lot of products from Marc Jacobs. So for me, it's not like one of my go-to brands. And I hesitate to buy any of the products on sale because if it is being discontinued, I don't want to fall in love with the formula just to not be able to get it again. If you guys have any insider knowledge, if you work at Sephora or you've seen a reliable resource, I would love to know. I think it would just be helpful for anyone who's interested in shopping. But if you've been wanting some of the products, you can get them for a discounted price. There are quite a few products still available in the sales section, including including complexion products, eye products. I've seen all kinds of things, highlighters, bronzers. So I'll link the Marc Jacobs page in the description box below if you're just interested in that specific brand. But Farsali products are also on sale. So the owner of Farsali or the owners of Farsali, they had a baby, which is amazing, but they said they aren't really focusing on the brand right now. So they're just kind of letting things run out of stock and they're not sure if they will restock eventually or just kind of close the business. That's the last that I heard. So a lot of the products are discounted. Now they do have some products that retail for $54 that are marked down to 30, like the Liquid Glass Radiant Serum and then also the Liquid Powder Oil Bouncing Serum. I have tried both of those products. I love the liquid powder serum. I did purchase a backup of that maybe at the beginning of the year when it was discounted. I don't think I'm going to buy another one because I think I need to find a good alternative just in case it's going away forever. But that product is so good for the summer. The liquid glass is really beautiful, especially if you have dry skin. I think you would like that because it just gives your skin the most smooth, even look. They have a couple of other products that are normally 39 that are marked down to 27, including a skin mist, a gel cream, and a beauty oil. So those are kind of like skincare products. A lot of their products kind of double as like skincare products and priming products. But if you love Farsali or you've been wanting any of those, they are pretty discounted and it looks like the majority of them are still in stock. Another brand that is discounted as well is Domini Cosmetics. So I think Domini Cosmetics must be leaving Sephora. I might be a little bit late to the game on this one because it didn't look like a lot of her staple products were available, but the products that are still on there are discounted. So if you are interested in the Rustic Lamb Palette or Celestial Storm, those are both 50% off. They normally retail for $44 and they're on sale for $22. Her liquid eyeshadows are normally 20 and those are marked down to 10. They're 50% off, but they don't have great reviews. I didn't actually go through the reviews directly to see what people said about them. So I just wanted to point that out. I wouldn't just buy them on a whim. You might want to go through and see why people don't like them just in case they won't appeal to you either. And then there were a couple of complexion products as well. I remember when these first came out, they sounded really nice. So if you missed out on them initially, it might be worth checking them out now. The first one is the Ultra Hydrating Fine Mist. It's normally 32, it's 50% off. And then also the Ultra Hydrating Complexion Primer, which is normally 28, but now it's 14. So if you like hydrating face products, it might be worth just checking out the description, the reviews, because those are some pretty good prices. Another face product I wanted to mention is from Kaja. This sounds kind of nice. It's the Blur Drop Weightless Water Primer. It's normally 22, it's on sale for 15. 
It's supposed to be a silky soft moisturizing primer that preps your skin with as little as one drop. So that, that sounds interesting. I don't know. I mean, I have oily skin, but I still really like hydrating base products. I just filmed a video where I was talking about the Smashbox Primerizer. This is still one of my favorites. I love the primer water. So that one sounds interesting and it is discounted. I did mention these products from Lawless in my last video. I haven't tried anything from Lawless, but these products are still on sale. They have a foundation. This is the Woke Up Like This Flawless Foundation. It looks like every shade except one is still in stock. This is normally $46 and it's on sale for $32. So it says that it is a buildable coverage, fresh, radiant finish foundation. And then they also have a highlighter on sale. This one is normally 38 and it's on sale for 19. It's a really pretty like peachy gold shade and it's called their Lucid Skin Highlighter. It's supposed to give you a glossy lit from within look. There were just a couple of other products I wanted to mention at Sephora. So I think I've been mentioning these since the beginning of the year. The Mel Cosmetics stacks are still on sale. So they must have a lot of inventory because they haven't been able to move them. I wish they would discount them even more because if they discounted them a little bit more like under $20, I would just grab them because I think they look gorgeous. The reason why I haven't purchased them is because they're still $33.50, which is a pretty good deal compared to $48, but you still only get four shadows. I'm also holding out hope that Mel Cosmetics turns the Shape Shift stack into an eyeshadow palette with a few additional with a few additional shades, that would be amazing. I feel like that's probably the plan since they've been doing that with some of their other products. Okay, and then the Aether Beauty Mini Crystal Eyeshadow Palettes are on sale as well. These are normally 24, they're on sale for 14. A few of you guys have told me you really like the eyeshadow formula from this brand. They have pretty good reviews. There's like a quad that comes with green shadows and then also a quad that comes with some softer, cooler toned pinky purple shades. Is that everything I wanted to mention? Oh, Domini Cosmetics Lip products are also 50% off. They have a liquid lipstick formula and then they also have a lip gloss formula. I have tried her lip glosses. They're really nice. They're a little bit thinner. They're very glossy and they tend to be pretty sheer. So it looks like she has like a super light peachy nude and then also a deeper brown toned nude, but I do like her formula. So if you're looking for a new lip gloss formula and you want to get it on sale, I've personally had a good experience with that one. The last product I wanted to mention from Sephora is from Wander Beauty. They have a lip retreat oil. Lip oils are so good. I've been loving them so much lately and they have one color on sale. This is the color Excursion which is a really pretty berry. It's normally $22 but it's on sale for $16. You can spend just a few dollars and get a good lip oil. Ulta Beauty has one. I also like Profusion but this one looks like it has more pigment. So if you're looking for like a berry toned lip oil then you might enjoy this one. You can get it on sale. Okay, let's jump over to Ulta Beauty. So they have some brands on sale. If you are ever shopping at Ulta Beauty, I always recommend checking out the sale page because they'll actually list all of the brands on sale. I'll put a picture right here. So a lot of the brands, especially the sun care brands, are like buy one, get one half off. And it looks like these go through June 19th. So I'm kind of curious. I feel like on June 20th, they might flip over and we might see some other good discounts. So if that's the case, I might film another video next week and update you guys. But right now, if you're looking for a new sunscreen or sun care in general, a lot of those brands are really discounted. I will just put a link directly to Ulta's sale page in the description box if you guys want to look through the different brands. One brand or one collection that I wanted to mention is the e.l.f. Jen Atkin collection. I really like this collection. I feel like the collaboration maybe wasn't super popular because a lot of the products are just very basic products that most of us probably have in our collection, but they are discounting it 50%. I actually have the nude lipstick duo on my lips today. I also have a NYX like glossy lipstick on top, but out of the line, I really like the lipstick duos. They come with a matching lip liner and a lipstick. They're two in one products. You can get all three for $10 now, or you can purchase them separately for $4 each. So if there is a specific shade that appeals to you, I think the formula is really nice. Other than that, I feel like the standout product from the line was the eyeliner, which is kind of random because I never thought that I would like these pencil liners. I really like more of like a creamy liner and when I feel 
or when I see like a wooden eyeliner, I just automatically think it's going to be dry and scratchy, but these are so blendable, so smooth. The palettes are really good too, but it doesn't look like the palettes are on Ulta's website right now. So I do recommend the liners, the lipsticks. I think the palette might still be on e.l.f.'s website and they are having a sale too. So as for complexion products, the Juvia's Place I Am Magic Foundation is on sale for 14. It's normally 20. I think I finally need to try this. This has been on my list for such a long time. I hear so many good things about it. I still wear full coverage foundation from time to time. It's not something I've completely cut out of my routine. I'm wearing it today. I mixed the Fenty foundation with the ColourPop foundation. Just because I'm trying to find like my right shade match, I, none of my foundations match me right now. They're all too dark. So I have a really light foundation from Fenty. I've been mixing into some of my darker foundations. So maybe I'll finally try out this Juvia's Place foundation. Also the It Cosmetics Bye Bye Breakout Full Coverage Concealer is on sale. It's normally 34, it's on sale for 2040. I don't know if I've ever heard of this. It's a revolutionary drying lotion and concealer all in one. That actually sounds like something I could definitely benefit from. I do deal with breakouts and redness. So I might have to check that out and give it a shot. Moving on to cheek products. The Revolution Pro Crystal Luxe Face Palettes are on sale. So these are normally $20. They're on sale for $10. I did try one of these during the holiday season. I think they released them around the holidays. And I don't know if I ever talked about it on YouTube. Usually I mention every product I try, but sometimes products kind of slip through and if they don't fit into a specific video, I just don't get a chance to talk about them. This actually performed pretty well. I think I had Rose Fresco and I did like it. I thought the packaging was beautiful. The quality was good. So these are on sale now for $10 if you missed out on them and you still want to try them out. And then there is a BH Cosmetics cheek palette on sale. This is Illuminating in Ireland. It is a highlighter palette. It's normally $17, but now it is $8.50. I've heard really good things about the BH Cosmetics cheek palettes. I almost bought the one that had like colorful highlighters in it because I think it was on sale a few weeks ago and then I just wasn't sure that I would get enough use out of it because I don't wear colorful highlighters super often but I was tempted to buy it. So if you like the shades in here you can get six pretty big highlighters for $8.50. And then the last product I wanted to mention is something that is actually on my like Ulta loves list, the LA Girl Strobe Light Strobing Powder. This is normally $7.99. It's marked down to $4.79. I just wasn't sure how you use this. I think it's a highlighter, but for some reason, I also thought maybe it was like a setting powder. I don't think it's a setting powder because it definitely is glowy, but I've really been loving LA Girl lately. So if I place a Sephora order, I think I might pick up one of those. Just a few eye products I wanted to recommend. The Juvia's Place Festival Eyeshadow Palette is $10. It's normally $20. I don't have this one. I have a lot of Juvia's Place palettes, but I never tried this one. It has an interesting color combination. There are like some warm toned oranges and reds and then a few cooler tones as well. So if that one does appeal to you, you can get it for 50% off. And then there's also a BH Cosmetics eyeshadow palette. I don't think I had ever seen this one. This one is smitten in Switzerland. It's normally 17, but you can get it for 850. It looks like you get some cooler tones in here, some greens, some blues, some pinky tone. It looks like it has mainly cooler tones with like a few pops of warm tones. There are also a couple of Pixie products on sale. Every time I see Pixie on Ulta's website, I completely forget that they sell Pixie for some reason. But if you like Pixie eyeshadow palettes, these are normally $24, but you can get them for $16.80. They have pretty bad reviews, so I don't know that I would recommend them. This review says the absolute worst. This is a terrible product. The colors are barely spreadable. They look cakey and not pretty at all. But then the next review says a beautiful palette. The colors are pigmented, but not chalky or cakey. So I am someone who always reads reviews. I watch reviews on YouTube, but I always read through them on the websites just to see what people are saying. I try not to take reviews that have like one star or five star into consideration. I always look for like really balanced reviews. Do you guys look at the reviews? Anyway, that's kind of off topic. There are a few lip products I wanted to mention. These are all drugstore lip products. So the full price is fairly affordable, but they're discounted even more. The NYX matte lipsticks are some of my favorites. These are normally $6. They're all on sale for $3. These are so good. If you guys haven't tried these, they're very lightweight, super thin. I used to have the shades Shocking Pink and Indie Flick, and I wore them all the time maybe like five years ago, maybe not even that long ago. 
I can't remember. I remember there was one summer where I was filming YouTube videos and those were my two go-to shades, but I still love that formula. I think it's really good. The Essence This Is Nude lipsticks are normally $4. They're on sale for $2.79. That's another one of my favorite formulas. Again, very lightweight, super smooth. It feels like a high-end formula. These are scented. They kind of have like a strong sweet chemical scent. So I do want to mention that in case you are sensitive to scents, but I do love that formula. And then a formula that I want to try that I get recommended to try all the time is the Essence Shine 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 Lip Glosses. These are normally $3.29. They're on sale for $2.30. A lot of you guys have told me that you love that clear lip gloss. It's one of your favorites. So I've been meaning to pick that up. And then the Essence Stay 8 Hour Lip Liners are on sale. I actually have one of these in my cart right now. So I'll have to pick it up when I place my order. They're normally $2.99, they're on sale for $2.09. So again, not a super big discount, but these are some of the best lip liners I've tried. They're probably my second favorite formula. The ColourPop lip liners are number one, but these come in, in close because they're just very creamy, but they stay in place well. And what I like about these is they're very thin, so I feel like you can get a really precise application when you use them. That's it for Ulta Beauty. Let me share a few individual sales. By the way, if you guys ever know of any good sales happening when you're watching these videos, I would love for you to leave them in the comments so anyone watching can kind of know about them. I try to pin comments if I see a really good sale that I missed out on, but there are a few that I wanted to share with you. I shared this one on Instagram. I try to share really good deals on Instagram too when I remember. I'm not as active on Instagram as I would like to be. It's just not my personal favorite platform, so that's why, but I've been trying to be a little bit better. Elf is having a sale up to 60% off products. So a bunch of products are on clearance right now, including some of my favorites, and then a few products that I haven't tried. But I do recommend kind of scrolling through to see what's on sale because there are a ton of products. So if there's something you've been wanting to try or one of your favorites, you can get them for up to 60% off. A few things that I want to highlight, the e.l.f. Retro Paradise Line and Shine Lip Kit is on sale for $4. I love this. I think the Retro Paradise line was so good. And this kit in particular comes with four lip liners and then a clear gloss that has some shimmer in it. I wear these lip liners all the time. They are pencil liners, but I think they stay in place really well. They're a little bit more matte than other lip liners that I have, and I think they pair well with lipstick, but also just with that lip gloss layered on top. So for $4, you get five products, which is a great deal. The Retro Paradise Glow Up Body Oil is also on sale for $4.80. I think the whole Retro Paradise line, whatever's left of it, is discounted because I also saw the glosses. And then the Jen Atkin line is also on sale on ELF's website. So if you'd rather purchase directly from ELF or if they have products left in stock that they don't have at Ulta Beauty, it is worth kind of checking out to see. The primer infused blushes are on sale. I hope they're not discontinuing those because I love them. They're normally six and they're on sale for $2.40. The luminous blushes are on sale. The studio blushes are on sale. So quite a few of their blush formulas are discounted. They have highlighter palettes on sale, some lashes, all kinds of products. They just have a ton in here. So if there is something that catches your eye, you can get it for a pretty significant discount. I want e.l.f. to do like a 50% off sale. It's been a while since they've done one of those and there are some new products I want to try, but I might end up grabbing them anyway, but I don't I don't know the last time that they did a 50% off sale. Typically when they do that sale, they kind of exclude new products anyway. But if you guys have any e.l.f. recommendations, let us know. There are a few products I want to pick up, so I am planning on placing an order just to get a couple of things. I always check Natasha Denona's website to see if they have any discounts, and I remember these palettes coming out. I think they were, were they limited edition holiday palettes? They're five pan palettes. They're normally $48 and they're both on sale for $28.40. So there is a really beautiful warm toned palette that has some berries, a yellow, some neutrals. And then there's also a palette that has some warm tones and then like a pop of blue. I think these were holiday palettes. I don't know though, because they're saying they're the ultimate palettes for summer. So either way, you can get them for a discounted price. I just bought a Natasha Denona five pan from eBay. Now I don't recommend buying makeup from eBay all the time. I, I actually don't know the last time that I did that. I used to do that back in the day when limited edition products were really big, but BoxyCharm did these limited edition Natasha Denona palettes and I really wanted like the cool toned neutral one. And I think I either canceled my BoxyCharm by the time that came out or I didn't get it. But I found it on eBay for like under $20 and I've been loving it. I love the limited edition BoxyCharm Natasha Denona palettes that they've done. I think I have 
like two or three of them and I'll like mix and match the shades together and they're just like my perfect go-to palettes. So I do like the five pans. I think $38.40 is a pretty good price if the shades appeal to you. Too Faced is having a pretty big sale on their website. The reason I originally checked is because some of you guys told me the entire peach line is on sale. I think it is officially being discontinued at this point. And I'm embarrassed to say I actually have three backups of the powder. I'm not a big backup person. I really don't buy backups very often these days, but that is my favorite powder. And a while ago it was on sale on Sephora's website for like $14. So I just bought three of them because I do go through that powder fully at least a few times every year. So don't judge me. I do have three on hand because it is my favorite and I don't know what I'll do if they discontinue it. I love it. I've loved it for a long time, but the entire peach line is 60% off, so I think it might be it might be the end of the peach line officially, but knowing Too Faced, they might just kind of redo it and bring it back. I feel like they do that from time to time. Other than the peach line, there are a few other products on sale, some of their bronzers, highlighters. The Amore Caliente palette is on sale. It's normally 42. They only marked it down to 38, so not a super big discount. Tarte Cosmetics is also having a sale. I haven't purchased anything from Tarte in a really long time, but I always kind of associate Too Faced and Tarte, so I just thought I would check their website, and there are a ton of products on sale, including some sets, some single products, some palettes. So if you do love Tarte, then it might be worth it checking out because they have a lot of options on their website, a lot of random things. And then Anastasia Beverly Hills does have a few products on sale as well. Some of their lip glosses, their liquid lips, Six, their eyeshadow singles. The Jackie Ina palette is still on sale. It's normally $45, but you can get it for $31.50. And then they have some eyeshadow quads that are normally $32 that you can get for $16. They're also doing a sun-kissed summer bundle that comes with their highlighter palette, a body oil, and a brush. Okay, let's finish up with Nordstrom Rack. So I used to buy a ton of makeup from Nordstrom Rack's website. They always have high-end makeup for discounted prices, and I went through and found a ton of products. So Urban Decay did these on-the-run mini palettes not too long ago, and they have two of them on Nordstrom Rack's website for $10. They're normally $25, so they're 60% off. There's a really pretty green-toned one that has some warm tones in it as well and then there's also like an orangey red toned one which could be fun for summertime. There are some moon dust eyeshadows on sale. They did discontinue these but they have a couple of shades. They're normally 22 but you can get them for $12.47 and it looks like there are four shades left. The Wired palette is still on sale. They still have that one. I feel like that one is kind of old. Oh my gosh I love the promo photos. Look at this promo photo. I seriously love this. Her eyebrows are purple. She has like pink eyeshadow on. I don't think I've ever seen these promo photos like when this first came out. I love that they used older models for that. And then they have a younger model as well, but I never saw those before. I think that's a lot of fun. It just goes to show that any age can wear color. So if you wanted the Wired palette, you can still get it for $19.47. I actually made a list last night of like the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara, Urban Decay Brow Blade, but a lot of them are no longer discounted. So the sale must have expired like this morning right after I made that list, but there are some other products on sale like some Too Faced holiday kits, a little set from Kopari. So I just recommend kind of scrolling through the clearance if you're looking for a good deal. I think that's all I have for you guys in today's video. So there weren't necessarily a ton of products on sale at Sephora and Ulta this time around, but Hopefully I could highlight just a few good deals for you guys in case you were interested. Thank you so much for watching today's video. I really appreciate it. I hope that you guys are having a great week. I'll be back tomorrow with a new video. Bye.